RoboCup at Home is about robots in domestic environments and it's really exciting because this is something that has the largest potential, I would say, these days for new markets. And so we are creating robots that interact with humans in a home and so we are really close to the future, I think. Different tasks that we have at the moment are uh, split into two sections, so to say, two phases. The first one is we uh, benchmark uh, singular capabilities and we want to get some statistical results about, you know, can the robot navigate, can it understand somebody, can it manipulate an object? And in the second phase, we combine them into complex tasks. Yeah, we have many, we have many tasks. So basically, person recognition and object recognition and manipulation and speech recognition, so kind of uh, human communication. The teams are coming here to, to a newly arranged arena. I have only very short time for, um, for testing, for adjusting the robotic platforms. So they really need to, to, to program robust uh, performances. And um, so there, there's so many things that, that could happen in these arenas, which you perhaps have not have in a lab. So for example, speech recognition, you have all the noise around here at the side, which makes it very, very difficult to understand what the humans are saying to the robot. Um, you know, the objects, uh, the, the robot did only have a very short time for, um, yeah, for memorizing those. Um, so they were bought here at the, at the supermarket. So this, you cannot expect what kind of texture do the, do the objects have, what kind of size do the objects have. So this needs to be a fast training procedure for the robot. And so the robot needs to adapt quite fast uh, to the setup that we have here. When we started with this robot, it was actually hardly able to do anything. Every time we started a challenge, it would basically fail. Uh, every time we tried to grasp something, it would drop it. Every time we tried to recognize something, it uh, recognized the wrong object or the wrong person. But eventually, after, after a while, it, things got better. And then, yeah, you notice that you get used to things not failing anymore, that you actually are able to tell the robot, grab the, that Coke can and bring it to me, and it works. RoboCup uh, at home is uh, very exciting uh, because you have to integrate a lot of technologies. And I think that in some of the leagues, they focus on one or two capabilities that the robot has to be good at. But in RoboCup at home, there are so many different connections you can make and it's a completely open field. You know, we don't know how to build uh, robot cognition. So I think that if you want to have a, a career into the AI part of robotics, then you should definitely go into uh, RoboCup at home because that's what we're doing.